we're going to Robin Hood stocks right now. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe. Hit my link to get the app. I get a free stock. You get a free stock. A lot of people following this channel have made some good corona because I've been able to get in here, do my homework, and give you stock recommendations. Now, I'm not a certified picker or anything like that. These are recommendations. I use science and I study, and I look at this every day. And some of you guys are looking for the next big thing you can jump into that's going to be Tesla. We've talked about that other company called Nikola Motors, but there is another company on that retrofits trucks to make them diesel and electric. Take a look at this, and this might be a stock you guys might want to jump on. I really on. like your typical type of EV company, and it slowly went all the way up. Now it's $15.15. That's pretty baller. I wish I bought more shares. But anyway, this is not like Nikola Motors where they're making like these purely EV trucks and also cars for regular re regular retail consumers. These guys make hybrids. So pretty much if you're like a guy that has a truck and you want to upgrade and you feel like your guy is using way too much diesel and you're like, I, I don't like this, but I'm too broke to buy like a whole entire Tesla Semi, which I'm not gonna lie, is pretty expensive because it's purely electric, it's brand new technology. You can see it's pretty dope. You know, it's like the rich guys in the trucking industry, they could cop some Tesla Semis. Another thing is if you're pretty rich as well, could probably get one of Nikola Motors electric trucks or hydrogen fuel cell trucks. And those are really nice. But keep in mind that these guys, these purely EV trucks, they charge a lot more than the regular diesel trucks, and for good reason. Nikola Motors pretty much charges twice as much as a regular diesel truck, and their excuse is there's less repairs, which is true, and you don't have to pay all that diesel money, which is true, and also the maintenance cost is way lower, which is also true. So they're able to command that really big price and a lot of people are ordering Nikola Motor trucks and they're fairly or pretty decent. Same thing with the Tesla Semi. You got like the autopilot, you know, very low amounts of energy and money per mile. But of course, if you're like a broke truck company, if you guys don't have that much cash on you, but you want to save one on diesel, you can go to Hylion. This is what they specialize in. So pretty much if you have like an old truck or a truck that uses a bunch of diesel, they could pretty much shove electric batteries inside and make it into the hybrid. So it's becoming more popular due to the fact that not everyone can afford these super expensive Tesla semis, these really expensive Nikola motor cars. Like the, I mean, these are absolutely amazing, but I don't think a lot of people can afford these. So to check out this Twitter video, pretty much if you guys have an old truck, you can park it into Hylion and it's super simple. No matter which diesel truck that you have, you could drive it into the workshop. They'll retrofit it with like brand new technology. And the crazy thing is the drivers don't have to learn anything new. So let's check out this video. You can clearly see like there's multiple different workers. It's honestly pretty simple. And they add brand new parts that they already manufacture. So pretty much once this operation starts up and going and once more trucking companies start noticing that I could just retrofit like these brand new diesel trucks at a fraction of a cost compared to if I could just buy a purely EV like Tesla Semi or Nikola Motors trucks, a lot of people will be flocking to Hylion in my opinion, because if I could spend a fraction of the price to cut down my diesel cost by at least half, I'm willing to do this. I mean, you could clearly see that they add these batteries on the very back, they add like different motors and stuff like that. It's fairly simple, no training required afterwards, and it's honestly pretty awesome. So yeah, so far I'm pretty impressed by what Hylion's doing. It's super new currently, there's not that much information. Virtually no one really knows about this. I found out because of Wall Street bets and we all know that us degenerates are so money crazy that we always try to find the next hot stock. And who knows, Hylion could be the next hot stock, but keep in mind, this isn't gonna be a company that goes all the way up to like 10, 20, 30 billion dollars. Keep in mind that this is a hybrid truck company and they still mess around with diesel. Okay, so yes, ladies and gentlemen, that company is gun it to market space it's still kind of a risky stock to buy right now because i've seen anyone that has signed a contract with them or is doing business with them but i do know this there are more small trucking companies than there are the major ones i used to be a trucker for four months i was about buying a truck i ran for snyder the number one thing most trucking 
owners on how to get better fuel mileage because that eats away their profit. Snyder at driving spent money to get a brand new fleet of automatic trucks that didn't do any shift because it took your diesel mileage from 10 to 13. Hmm. Three reference per gallon was enough for them to buy a new fleet of trucks. So when your mom and pops figure I can't afford that Tesla, I can't afford that Nikolai, but I can go over here for 20 grand and then retrofit my truck with batteries that can be charged up. And that's all I got to do. And it's like, they will jump on that because freight is going up and up and up in this country because everybody's online purchasing. The freight ain't going down. The freight is getting more increased. So a stock, I say, you might want to buy maybe 10, 15, 20 shares and just sit. And the moment they make an announcement that someone has signed with them, it's going to shoot through the moon. I will be on it, and I'll come back and report it. Larry, with this new company and what they're trying to do. Yeah, that sounds exciting. Uh, you know, to be able to to be able to retrofit, uh, you know, people's trucks now. I mean, the technology exciting is one because if you can do that with, you know, with full size trucks, maybe that maybe that same sort of technology can then be translated to to retrofit people's cars, you know, cause there's a lot of people that want to buy, you know, or want would like to have an electric car, but they're like, yeah, I can't afford that. So who knows? Maybe if, you know, maybe instead of spending, you know, $30,000 or $40,000 on a new car, maybe someone who has a, you know, a decent car already can say, Hey, if I can spend 5,000 and get my car retrofitted to electric, I'll do that and, and make it sort of a hybrid. So now maybe all of a sudden you have a, you know, a hybrid, uh, you know, you have a hybrid Ford truck or something, or you have a hybrid, you know, Toyota, Toyota, you know, uh, Supra or whatever. I don't know. It's um, the technology in itself is interesting. I think that the trucking industry is a great place for that because they are, you know, they're commercial vehicles and people run them and run them and run them. Mm -hmm. And and because most of those trucks are owned by companies, people will do this and look at it as an investment and not as just something that's a convenience but actually a, a, an investment that they can actually write off and use as a business expense so yeah it's exciting to see where it's going to go